Hey everybody, welcome back to another JBoz Gaming video. I'm your host, JBoz. And today, we're going to talk about all things armor. Uh, this includes armor thickness, armor uh, effectiveness, um, to what it means to side scrape or reverse side scrape. Um, so, let's get into this. So, I'm starting in the World War II uh, main garage screen today. And in that garage screen, I have a few tanks in my carousel. Uh, the tank that I'm going to focus on today is it's kind of my example tank, if you will, is the M5A1 Stuart. I'm going to go to the customization screen and uh, pull up the uh, armor viewer for this particular tank. <clears throat> We'll go to Armor Viewer by using the right or left bumper. And here uh, we have uh, the different armor thicknesses. Right, What it shows is an image of our tank kind of color-coded to represent uh, the different thicknesses of armor on the tank. It's pretty hard to tell like where you know the thickness really differentiates. And so what I do is I go and look at each uh, thickness of armor to see where it's located. So for example, uh, this is uh, the lower plate of the M5A1 is 63 millimeters. And you can kind of see the color coding in front. You can look around and there's no other place on the tank that has that thickness uh, of, of armor. Notice as I move my tank or angle my tank, um, the thickness of that armor doesn't change because this viewer in game only shows the direct thickness of of that armor so it's only like I'm sitting straight on no matter how I turn my tank it's always looking uh, at at the thickness of the actual plate of armor so we'll kind of look at the other areas you know I've got a little bit thicker armor uh, on the gun up in the up, up, up front on the gun I have uh, you know just just around the gun frontal part of the, the tank around the gun is uh, 44 millimeters and then it goes down to 38 uh, in the corners of the lower plate and then it's 31 uh, on pretty much around the turret see that um, and then uh, it's uh, the body uh, is 28 millimeters uh, in in front and kind of around to the sides so you can kind of see where the 28 millimeters of armor thickness is located and then uh, we can look at uh, the back, which is uh, 25 millimeters. Uh, again, it's getting less and less armored as you go from front to back in general, which is true of most tanks. Um, and then the tracks are 15 millimeters. Uh, the gun is 15 millimeters as well. And then uh, you have some side side pieces of the turret that are very very thin. Um, and then you have uh, the upper deck of the of the uh, hull, and the lower deck, uh, lower uh, or bottom of the hull, are very very thin at 12 millimeters. And then of course uh, you have uh, some kind of under the sides, if you will, of the tank are are uh, nine millimeters, uh, which is the, the the thinnest part of the uh, the tank. Which it would be really hard to be able to land a shell there. So that doesn't really. Uh, give you a lot of information but knowing where the uh, 12 millimeters are and the uh, uh, 25 millimeters right that's easy easy pin 28 is really not that hard and then uh, 31 is also not that bad this is not this is a light tank so it's not heavily armored so the armor is not overly thick but what we can say about this uh, viewer is that it just shows the direct armor in millimeters uh, thickness now that's that's not what we mean when we talk about effective armor. There is a website that I use uh, called Tanks.gg, and there may be others out there, um, but I re I've used this website for for years, um, and it helps me understand effective armor. So I'm going to bring that website over. We're going to take a quick look at it. it oops, and we're going to talk about uh, uh, the effective armor of the M5A1. So on tanks.gg there's a full tanks list um, 
usually I just uh, go to that and I pick, uh, let's say, the country, and we're looking at tier four. We're looking at light tanks, right? So quickly we get to the M5A1 Stewart. So we can bring that tank up. This gives the, the stats of the tank. Um, but what we want to look at is uh, 3D models. Uh, and then also in 3, 3D models, we want to look at, um, I think it's live. No, that's not it. Is it visual? No. That's the real look of the tank. Um, collision doesn't allow us to move. Well, hang on just a second here. Oh, yeah, this is it. Okay. So in uh, tanks.gg, we do have another 3D model, but notice that the colors change as I move the tank around. And when I hover my mouse over the different thicknesses of the tank, we can see that below here because it's rounded has an effective armor so now we're looking at effective armor not not what the thickness of the armor is but if a shell hit the tank at this angle this is what you know the armor would be so the nice thing about this is when you're looking uh, and turning your tank you can see that the tank begins to begins to uh, have different armor thicknesses based on how you turn the tank. That's effective armor. So if a shell is coming in at this angle, and it's always, in this website, it's always coming from the front, right? Um, then then to, to increase your frontal armor to almost 80 millimeters, you can turn your tank at an extreme angle. So the nice thing about this is if you don't turn it enough, though, then you know the angle is 60, 60 millimeters uh, thick, effective armor. Well, you can see also it shows you the effective angle that you need to be in order to uh, really be able to change um, your effective armor uh, and hopefully be able to prevent those shells from pinning you. Um, on the M5A1, the, th the thinnest part of the tank is in the rear. Um, so if we come back here and just look, you know, we got about, you know, 25 millimeters of armor in the back. And if we turn this tank, uh, as we turn it, that thickness starts to get a little thicker, uh, right? So now it's at 30, 38, 37 millimeters, depending on where we're, where we're looking. And so we're almost doubling our armor. And then the, the further the angle, at about 70, de at about 70 plus degrees, you, get, you really get the maximum uh, kind of effectiveness of that armor. Uh, and you can see I'm in the, into the 70s uh, for the most part looking back at this now when you turn at this angle there is a lot of uh, you know you're you're opening up other angles or other pieces of your tank so you need to be aware of can you you know where 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 you can angle your tank without exposing the other parts of maybe weaker armor on your tank and so that's where generally speaking uh, the term side scraping comes in because if you're if you're angled to someone and moving back and forth with your tank, you're cha constantly changing that angle of that trajectory of that cell that shell, and that that particular shell you can get to bounce because here you know I've basically made my side effectively 86.5 millimeters, which is a lot thicker than the normal side armor of only 28 millimeters. Look at that. That's almost well, it's at least three times. Uh, the thickness of of my normal armor by turning my side to at a, at the at the correct angle to uh, effectively uh, um, increase my armor. Now imagine if there was a building in front of me or some object in front of me, right? And I'm an enemy tank looking at this tank. The only thing that I'm exposing is my side at a at a good angle at an extreme angle that really makes my side armor thick this is where the term side scraping comes in because you're wanting you're inviting them to shoot at your side of your tank because you know that that particular tank that may be shooting at you can't pin a certain millimeter of thickness especially effective thickness of armor and that's what we refer to as side scraping while you're doing this, 
your your less thick armor, right? The up front armor is blocked by a by a rock or or by <coughs> excuse me or by a uh, building or whatever. And so as you uh, move back and forth, uh, so you might pull back and then then shoot at that tank, only giving him a brief glimpse at your uh, less thick armor, but then pulling forward to let him hit your side. Um, you are kind of moving, ba uh, having a moving back and forth fashion where he can't really get a good shot on your side, but if he does, he can't pin it. And then also, you're, um, you're also taking a shot when you're moving out of cover and then back into cover. So this is considered front uh, sky uh, uh this is considered side scraping if you reverse the tank some tanks have uh, uh weaker uh obviously rear armor and you can do this in reverse where your back of your tank is facing the object or building that you're uh trying to use as cover that most effectively blocks or or prevents someone from hitting your weakest part of your tank and then you have your turret uh, completely turned around and you're shooting at that tank and doing the same thing but you're just in reverse right so that's what it means to reverse side scrape all armor is given in thickness by millimeters so there's no there's no uh, particular difference uh, as far as the measurements but ha but direct armor versus effective armor are two different things so it's really um, a really important concept to understand that by angling your tank at different angles, um, you can effectively increase your armor. But you have to know what those angles are, and you have to learn what that angle represents in game. Coming in and looking at the viewer is one thing. Getting it right in game is a little harder because you don't have the nice colors for your for your tank uh, when it changes its effective armor in the different locations so kind of learn try try to take the opportunity to learn uh, like with a web uh, website like tanks.gg you know what angles you need to be setting at, and what effective armor you're creating when you're setting at those angles to learn how to side scrape now this is done a lot in heavies where the heavies are slower they can't really get out and run but what they can do is hold down a flank or hold down a position and so they get what's called hull down in a position where their their hull is protected by an object uh, uh, such as uh, such as their lower plate. And it and it because a lot of tanks have weaker lower plates than upper plates. And so they really get an object in front of that lower plate or get below a ridge line or whatever. They get hauled down where where they can't uh, other people cannot uh, see uh, their weaker parts of their tank. And then they begin to side scrape uh, again using their gun and their side to effectively block uh, and deflect uh, shots at them, but still getting uh, targets down downrange on tanks. So learn learn uh, to use effective armor uh, well, and use websites like tanks.gd to learn what those angles and those effective armors are. The other thing that I want to say about armor is. There are certain tanks um, that have uh, what's called um, it, it's called uh, spaced armor, and it, actually your tracks work as spaced armor. In that, if a shell, let's say, um, spaced armor works against uh, certain shell types. Uh, I, I'll go over ammunition and shell <laughs> shells in more detail in, a, in another video, but. But um, for now, we're going to talk about the HE shell, right? It has usually very low penetration, but it always kind of does damage. It always hits the tank you're shooting at with some damage. Um, and so it can be an effective ammunition just to put some damage down, uh, especially in, in special situations uh, that well, I'll talk about in other, other, obviously, videos. But in this case, when we're talking about spaced armor, what spaced armor does is it prevents that that um, HE from having uh, full effect. So um, if you hit HE against the, the direct armor of the tank, 
then it splashes for, if it doesn't pin, it splashes for some damage, right? Well, spaced armor, what that does is it's, it's basically an effect, it's a barrier before you actually hit the armor of the tank. So some, some tanks have uh, uh, kind of protruding things around their turret. That's spaced armor. Uh, we have a little bit of that in the, uh, in the M5A1 here, where this little shield here, if you hit, if the HE hits this, it won't, it won't have uh, much effect, if at all, because the, the, the HE is going to explode out here on this little piece of shield. Same with your, <coughs> excuse me, same with your tracks. It, they, they prevent a shell from penetrating uh, directly your, your hull armor. So you, you might have um, weak armor here, but if somebody's shooting HE shells at you, then unless they kind of go through this spot, uh, they won't be able to uh, do much damage to you with HE because it'll splash on your tra on your tracks. So there's there's different tanks, um, you know the the Super Conqueror. Uh, there's there's many tanks. I, I shouldn't start listing them because uh, quite a few have spaced armor. Um, but learn which tanks have spaced armor. Learn which tanks you can use when someone is using HE, and then also learn um, you know to not shoot HE at the spaced armor of a tank because that will reduce your effectiveness with that particular ammo and, and we'll talk about that in the ammo video but that's what i want to talk about as far as armor is just knowing that there's spaced ar spaced armor and what it actually does we've talked about <coughs> armor angling and we really <coughs> we really understand now what it means to side scrape as well as reverse side scrape and we also understand that what the game gives us is only direct armor in millimeters and not effective armor so if you ever been in battle and had any experience at all and you earn any, you think oh wow i should have been able to pin that guy well you have to consider at what angle he was sitting at you what effective armor he had versus that direct armor that you thought you were going to go through when you shot at him so just know that, that that's the effect that it has in the game is it really sometimes prevents you from pinning uh, uh, enemy tanks as well because uh, they are angled to you. Uh, that's why, <clears throat> you know, even if you're in a heavy, it's always good to be moving uh, when someone is shooting at you. As long as you're, you know, if you can be behind, behind cover, great. But in general, <clears throat> if you can constantly be moving your tank at different angles, to try to deflect those shots, then the better off, the better chance you'll have at maybe getting it to the right angle where it does deflect that shell, um, or at least minimize the damage that you take because you're you're increasing your effective armor uh, for for that tank. You know, as always, uh, if there's another uh, tidbit or piece of information that you want me want me to share about uh, armor side scraping reverse side scraping or effective armor you know let me know um happy to add that happy to get the feedback but add that in the comments we'll check those and and do a do another video if need be uh but that's it for today really appreciate your time if this has been helpful hit that like button always uh if you would hit that subscribe and ring the bell uh to get notifications when i upload new videos uh i wish you the best of luck and now that you know about armor, you should be a little bit more effective on the battlefield. All right, you take care. See you in the next one.